morning, wherever you are in this world. I hope that you are in good health and peace of mind. And I pray that the blessings of the Lord will overshadow you today. Today's devotion will be coming to you from Genesis 3, 1 and 4 and Judges 14 verse 5. Today's devotion is going to be kind of a different one. And I am, as you know by now, that I am an encourager. And as soon as something pops in my head, the best thing for, for me is that it gets out. So let's read this word up as their best and as trying to use this thing. I swear to God, this thing has not stopped. The notification has not gone off. But let's go. That's my life. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had created. And the serpent said unto the woman, and I've edited a portion of it, you shall not die. And in Judges 14, 5, it says, Samson went down to Timnath with his parents. As they approached the vineyard, a young lion came roaring towards them. Today's topic is personality traits. You know the story very well when the serpent went to Eve and said, encourage her to eat the apple and, and tell her that she will not die. And I have oftentimes mentioned the law of the, uni the universe in which things happen before it is happening now and it will happen again. And people have been deceived and manipulated to do the things that they really do not want to do. And why did Eve listen to the serpent over her creator? Could this be because of the characteristic and personal trait of a snake? The snakes are subtle and they slither and they make a hissing tone, not loud. Most snakes are deadly. And before a snake strikes its victims, it has already gathered all the information about you, your position, your weaknesses, and your speed of motion. A snake-like personality observe their victim long before you are even aware of it. Bear in mind that, on the other hand, a lion is totally different in one area only. The lion and the snake have the same personality trait, but the only difference is the sound that they both make when they are approaching their victim. You see, most people tend to gravitate to the mesmerizing tone of a snake than the roaring tone of a lion-like personality. You know, not knowing that the snake-like personality will never alert you before they harm you, unlike the lion would. You're gonna hear steps coming, you're gonna, you're gonna know a lion is gonna alert you snake-like personality are usually always in position of authority because if the serpent wasn't in an authoritarian position in the garden snake eve would not have believed him like an ant she wouldn't believe an ant the ants come to eve and said if you eat it you 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 you, you will not die she wouldn't believe a dog, she wouldn't even believe. A bird, she would not believe. So snake-like personality are always in position of authority. They're always ruling. And people feel comfortable and relaxed when they're speaking to these gifted, calm, and rational snake-like personality who seldom get angry in public. You see, these people are always private. And they are protective of their personal space because they do not want the real authentic self being revealed. Lion-like personality, on the other hand, live their life in the open, are fearless, and will warn you with a roar when, when they are angry. My brothers and sisters, 
just because someone uses a hisses low tone to speak to you it doesn't mean that that person is kind or mean you well this could be a plot remember you know different cases different scenario this could be a plot persons whose tones are high pitch may not be threatening but with these personality at least you know where you stand in this person's life and where you stand in the conversation or in the relationship with that person snake-like personality are manipulators and are usually controllers and they they're so aware of the things they do but here is the hope as long as the objective and the interaction is not to destroy you when you're in a communication with these personality, different personality, as long as they're not about to, to cause you harm. And as long as the interaction that is followed is teaching and correction, the tone that these animal-like personality makes should not be a judgmental factor in a decision to sentence a person. Remember, God created both creatures and he created you and he created me. Be blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Got it. X O X O Donna. Love you. Be blessed. Be good to someone. Yeah.